There are surprising number of cases in which UFOs seem to have fallen from the sky to crash to earth. One very strange case of this supposedly played out in the country of Brazil, where a strange craft smashed down into the sea to leave wreckage behind. Pieces of the crashed UFO have gone on to become some of the most extensively analyzed and most heatedly discussed alien evidence. If you think the mystery is worth digging, then dive with me into this video. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. In September of 1957, Ibrahim, who was the society columnist for the Rio de Janeiro newspaper El Globo, received a letter that was quite bizarre and enigmatic. The sender claimed that he was a simple fisherman, who while out with some friends at Tonina's beach had a surprising experience with a UFO that crashed into the sea. The sender didn't believe anything said or published about UFOs or aliens but he was forced to change his mind after he witnessed the crash. He was fishing along with some of his friends at a place close to the town of Yubatuba when he saw a flying disc. It approached the beach at unbelievable speed and in the moment, it crashed into the sea. However, when it seemed it was almost striking the waters, it made a sharp turn upward and climbed rapidly on a fantastic impulse. They tried to follow the craft, but just after a few seconds, the disc exploded in flames. It broke into thousands of fragments, which fell sparkling with magnificent brightness. They looked like fireworks, despite the time of the accident at noon, that is, at midday. Most of the fragments, almost all, fell into the sea, but a number of small pieces fell close to the beach, and they picked up a large amount of this material which was light as paper. At time, they didn't know anyone that could be trusted to whom they could send it for analysis. But after a few days, they wrote a letter to Ibrahim, who used to write about UFOs and aliens in the newspaper. In the letter envelope, there were several strips of a dull grey metallic material which seemed to be scorched or oxidized somewhat, smooth but with a noticeable amount of wear and tear. Not knowing what to do with the letter and its mysterious samples, Ibrahim merely printed the letter in the newspaper out of curiosity, only to be later contacted by Olavo T. Fontes, who was a Rio physician and Brazilian representative of the Aerial Phenomena Research Organization. After several tests, it was found that the metal in the samples contained only the element magnesium, incredibly pure which, with our metallurgy techniques, should have been impossible. The magnesium of the alleged alien spacecraft is not found in nature and beyond our capacity to create. But after the test, all the samples were taken away for further research and after that, no information was shared in public. So let us know what do you think about this story. If you want to see more such videos, then press that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.